Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to Dr. Kastagir Government Girls High School. And also, welcome to our online class conducted by our school authority. As we are passing through a COVID situation, we have to continue our classes through online. This is the first class of my new team. So, I'd like to introduce myself at first. Here is my introduction. I'm Mithun Nisivas, Assistant Teacher English at Rakhastagir Government Girls High School, Chapter 1. Today, I'm going to discuss with you from your EFT books. Now, take your EFT book and listen to my lecture carefully and attentively. I hope you will enjoy my class. This is the lesson introduction. Class 5, English for today, Unit 1, Lesson 1, 2, 3, and the title is Hello. My allocated time is 30 minutes. This is the EFT book for you. So, in Lesson 1, there are some new words. At first, you have to know the meaning of these new words. The first one is introduce, means make known. The second one is holiday, means a day of festivity and no routine work is done. The third one is really, means truly. The fourth one is live, means Depart from. The fifth one is nice, means fine. The next one is meet, means come face to face. Then journey, means tour or travel. The last one is fun, means pleasure or joy. These are some new words of your lesson one. I hope now you can understand the meaning of these new words. Now this is the basis from this lesson. We see that there are two girls in a railway station. One is Shima and the another is Jessica. This is the conversation between the two girls. So let's start our reading. Shima, hello, may I introduce myself? I'm Shima. Jessica, hi, I'm Jessica. Shima, where are you going, Jessica? Jessica, I'm going to Dr. Gum. I'm on holiday with my father. Shima, really? Where are you from? Jessica, I'm from the United Kingdom. Are you from Dhaka? Shima, no, I'm from Silat. That's where we are going. Our train is leaving in 10 minutes. Jessica, have a good journey. Shiva, thank you. Nice meeting you, Jessica. Have fun in Chattagam. Jessica, thanks. Nice meeting you too, Shima. This is the passage. Now read the passage again and try to write the following activities. The first activity is matching. As the words of column A with their meaning that is mentioned in the column B. In column A, there are five words, but in column B, there are more words than column A. Now, you have to match the words from column A to column B by their meaning. In column A, the words are hello, really, introduce, Father living. And in column B, the words are make known a female parent, actually giving up a male parent, usually a greeting when one meets another. So now try to match these words. In column A, the first word is hello. So the closest meaning of hello is a greeting. When one meets another, really, 
the closest meaning of really from column B is actually introduce. The closest meaning of introduce from column B is make known. Further, the closest meaning of father is a male parent. The last one is living. So the synonymous of living is giving up. In this way, you have to match these words from column A to column B. Now, this is activity two. Fill in the blanks with suitable words from the box. There are more words than necessary. You have to fill the words given in the box. The words are is, have, going, Rufi, had, shima, like, and the last one is introducing. The sentences are shima is dash herself, b jessica dash going to chapter c dash is from select, d shima and her father are dash to select, e dash a good journey. Now you have to put the suitable words from the box. Shima is dash herself. The suitable word for A is introducing. Shima is introducing herself. B, Jessica dash going to Chattoka. The answer is is. Jessica is going to Chattoka. C, dash is from select. The answer is Shima is from select. D. Shima and her father are dash to select. The suitable word for D is going to select. E. Dash a good journey. The suitable word for E is have a good journey. So in this way you have to fill in the blanks with suitable words given in the box. You have to write either matching or filling the gaps in your answer script. Now, activity three, true or false. Read the following statements. Write true for correct statement or false for incorrect statement. There are six sentences in the screen. Now you have to write true or false. If the statement is true for false, you have to write false. The sentences are A. On a day off, Jessica remains close to her father. B. Jessica has come from the UK. C. Jessica has introduced herself to Shima. D. Shima is from Select. E. Shima is not pleased to meet Jessica. F. Jessica has come from Select. Now the first one is On a day off, Jessica remains close to her father. This is a true statement. So we have to write only true. B. Jessica has come from the UK. This is also a true statement. So we have to write true. Jessica has introduced herself to Shima. This is a false statement. So we have to write false. We know that the true statement is Shima has introduced herself to Jessica. D. Shima is from Silet. This is also a true statement. E. Shima is not pleased to meet Jessica. This is also a false statement. We know the correct statement is Shima is pleased to meet Jessica. So we have to write false. Last one is Jessica has come from Silet. This is also a false statement. We know that Jessica has come from the UK. So in this way, you have to write true or false in your answer script. Now, this is a fair work. Ask and answer the question.
questions to your partner. The questions are number one, where is Jessica going? Number two, why is Jessica going there? Number three, where is Jessica from? Number four, is Shima from Dhaka? Number five, where is Shima going? Number six, when is Shima's train leaving? Number seven, where are Shima and Jessica? Now try to write the answer of this question. This is the classwork for you. So let's try to write this answer of these questions. Number one, where is Jessica going? The answer is Jessica is going to Chattogram. Two, why is Jessica going there? The answer is Jessica is going there to enjoy holiday. Number three, where is Jessica from? The answer is Jessica is from the United King Kingdom. Number four, is Shima from Dhaka? The answer is no, Shima is from Silet. Question number five, where is Shima going? The answer is Shima is going to Silet. Number six, when is Shima's train leaving? The answer is Shima's train is leaving in 10 minutes. The last one is where are Shima and Jessica? The answer is Shima and Jessica are at a railway station. I hope you can easily answer these questions. Now, this is the homework for you. Write a short, short composition about your visit to Cox's Bazaar. You have to write at least five sentences about the topic. So, sir, this is all for today. I hope you will enjoy my class. Thank you again. Stay connected with our online class. Be safe and pray to God for our safety. Thank you and thank you again.